Hey people, this is uh, Nate Raymond in Japan, and I'm just coming at you because I'm uh, here to bring you a little bit of a cultural perspective. And I'm going to say something, I just want you to hear it and just hear me out. We have to treat Japanese people like elephants. <laughs> I'll say it again. We have to treat people, Japanese people, like elephants. Okay, so let me tell you what I mean by that. So, all right, let's start off in America, okay? Let's say in America, you saw something at 8 o'clock, you saw in living color. And you go to your friend, yo, did you see in living color? Yo, I saw in living color. Like, in America, that's a conversation I've had with people, okay? So, I want you to understand, like, in America, that's what we're focused on. We're focused on something fun, something like that. Like, that's just our mindset. And we're talking about something we enjoy. Like, we have freedom... So we enjoy it, okay? Now, I want to tell you about Japanese people, and I want to tell you that that's not their mindset, all right? They're not thinking about what they can enjoy. And that's why I say let's treat people like elephants to understand that there's already things that Japanese people already know. And we're not talking about what they do in their free time like oh did you see in living color did you see in living color no you see they have so much already imposed in their mind and let me tell you what it is okay so the one thing they have imposed on their mind is their writing system and Chinese characters, you know, that in Japanese you have three different alphabets. So learning these Chinese characters at a young age, the, they have absorbed a lot of knowledge of these pictures that have meanings and different ways of reading depending on the context. Okay, that's one thing. And the next thing is that they have a lot of history of Japanese, you know, Japan just being considered an old country, an older civilization. And that's just like a weight of that. And then when you're in Japan, it's very tight space wise. So, you know, they're dealing with space and like in their situations, they're in their group and they're really busy in their group. So they found ways to like keep people really productive. So when you go to a Japanese person and then you try to share something that, you know, information you feel like they should know about, well, they don't, they don't know about it. <laughs> and that's why every single Japanese person you have to really treat as an individual. You can't be like in America where right now in America you can appeal to different like group identities, right? You could go to like people who like this, like that's marketing basically. But when you go to Japan, there really is like, you know, the whole country has a sort of, right? It is one group in a way. So, I mean, of course you have groups within that, but it's not as like, so, okay. It's just what I'm saying is that there's a dynamic, all right? There's a dynamic, a cultural dynamic that if you step outside your culture, okay, and you embrace like another person's culture and like situation, you guys actually fit like puzzle pieces. And that's the part that I want people to see. I want the people to see the world as one big puzzle. And, all right, so the deal is that Japanese people are elephants, but we are mice. Let me say it again. We are mice. Do you know how free we are in America? Also, not just things we could do. We're free from, first of all, having to learn a big writing system. We're free from having to deal with, like, cultural, like, in a way, like, imposed on everybody. And, like, we have a sense of, you know, everybody can choose their own, right? And, like, that's something Japanese people don't have, you know? So it's like we have strengths and weaknesses. And you're never going to be a Japanese person. There's no way, you know, and you don't want to be right. But who you are, you dismiss certain things because you think, oh, I am just like, you know, everybody is. No, everybody is not just like that. Like we Americans, we have a certain way of being. Now, you could do two things. You could either impose your will on people and bully people. And that's been how people have been managing. But we get to a point where bullying doesn't work anymore. And you really have to be smart. And you really have to engage people of the mind. 
So in that way, we're creating our own culture. I mean, Japanese have a culture. They'll say this is Japanese culture. But within Japanese history, certain Japanese periods of history, certain things were emphasized. So if people talk about following the rules, right, they're going to talk about the Edo Jidai, right? But if you're talking about going to other countries to learn what you can, to bring it back, to share the knowledge, that is the Meiji Jidai, right? So the age, Jidai, Meiji era. So look, we got to get specific about language we use, self-understanding about our place in the world, and how that's really the start of a new culture we're creating where it doesn't matter where you were born it doesn't matter these things where you were born that you say look you know this is my culture i was born into it but then in that sense you adopt maybe good things about your culture but then you don't see how that's also closing you off from other ways okay but so what we want to do is we want to have like a, a salad bar a smorgasbord and we're taking the best aspects of culture Oh, a lot of companies? Yes, Japanese. I'll take some of that. Great social skills and networking, manhandle skills from America? I'll take that. You know, Australia skills, being the bridge between Japan and America? I'll take some of that. You know, India, connecting to the Australia to have this digital thing? Yeah, I'll take some of that. See, all these different pieces, and that's how we are. We take all of our strengths and bring it into the best, and I want you to know that this is a culture that I'm totally down with and hopefully you're down with it too and that's just what I'm trying to say is that you know like we are evolving and changing and so we invite you to be part of this evolve and change Nate Raymond in Japan of the Japan Exchange we're going to keep in touch through app having some meetings about how the best way to go about that and we welcome your ideas thank you <laughs>